This is part 4 on how to optimize your Claw 8. In my previous videos I talked about how turning CPU boost off can massively increase your battery life, how to update the BIOS manually and making sure that VRR is always working. The links are provided in the description below so make sure you check those videos out. In today's video I will be showing you how to make sure that your Intel graphic drivers are up to date because there was a new update a few days ago. Making sure that your tooth and claw software which I have shown in my previous videos how to download. Making sure that it is also updated because tooth and claw also had a software update. And how to apply Intel's image sharpening to your games to make them look much sharper and overall much better. So make sure you guys like, subscribe and comment down below and let me know if you have any questions and if you are finding these tips useful. For step number one you want to make sure that your Intel drivers are up to date. I have provided a link in the description so make sure you click on it. Once you click on it you will be taken to this page. This is basically Intel driver and support assistant. Another way to get to this page is if you go to Google type Intel update drivers and as you can see right here where it says Intel driver and support assistant click on this and basically what you will get is you'll get a download button that will download Intel driver and support assistant software which will automatically scan your device for the latest drivers now because I have already installed it I don't see the button but for you if you have not you will see that button so make sure you download it once you download the software you will see an icon in the tray here so this blue icon and basically every time you have an update you will get a notification through this icon um, so if I double tap this icon it will take me back to the same page link is in the description and in here it will update all your drivers so it will show any drivers that you are missing um, so if there is any drivers that you have not updated it will show so this morning I got an update saying that I have some drivers uh, missing and when I clicked on it it took me to this page and all I had to do was download all and then I had to click on install all and it basically installed all the latest drivers so as you guys can see on the 3rd of October 2025 basically this morning I downloaded four new software so you have a new Intel graphics driver which was let's have a look released in October 29 now even though this was released a few days ago I just got the notification today so make sure you guys double check this website this link to make sure that your drivers are up to date because through the MSI Center M software which you can get through here it does not show you the updates so in case you are relying on the software which is very buggy and it's not even responding right now as you guys can see so let me show yeah so if you go to the update scan so even if your drivers are not up to date the MSI Center M will not show you what's missing so make sure you don't rely on the software go to this link this is Intel's website so basically all the drivers that come through will come through from this uh, website first so make sure you plug in your MSI Claw 8 and then install all the drivers that you are missing you may need to restart the Claw 8 once you have updated everything and restarted your Claw 8 you will be presented with this page and as you can see it shows your Intel drivers and software are up to date so now you know everything has been updated and your Claw is basically fully up to date make sure that your tooth and claw software is up to date i have shown you how to get the software in part three so the link is in the description if you want to watch that video so once you have tooth and claw and you update it you guys will get many different features which were not present in the previous version so in order to get the latest update of tooth and claw what you want to do is you want to go to google and type tooth and claw github and you want to click on the first page where it says Basimosin Tooth and Claw. So click on this and it will take you to the main page of Tooth and Claw. Um, as you can see, four days ago there was a new update which has 
given us new futures as shown in the page so basically on the new update you get many different futures so if you click on the latest release as you can see we now have scaling settings which we did not have before I will be showing you guys this in a bit and um, also if you go down here you can see that the Intel adaptive sharpening method which was available in the previous um, release it wasn't actually working most of the time and I have tested it it is now working and I'll show you guys exactly how good the sharpening is on the cloate so the first thing you want to do is open the game bar and go over to the tooth and claw software you should see these two um, icons here in case you're not seeing these icons make sure you download the tooth and claw software so click on the link it will take you to this page go all the way down and click on download from microsoft store and even though i have downloaded it it shows that i have to download it because it was done automatically but uh, anyways i'll show you guys how it works so i'll just click on download as you can see i've got the exe So the EXE will basically take me to the Microsoft Store. And as you can see, the latest version is installed. If you have not installed it, it will obviously install it for you. Once that's done, you can go ahead and open the quick settings. And then go over to the tooth and claw icons. If you can't see the icons, then you have to go here and then go all the way down here and in here you should be able to see these two new tabs click on them and then it will show at the top here so at the top right there so the main new change here is the scaling settings as you guys can see this can be useful depending on which game you are playing and how you want to scale it but I just leave it at the default and the main thing here that I really want to show you guys is the Intel adaptive sharpening which I have found really useful and I will show you exactly how useful this is and you know how it works in step number three I will be using the new image sharpening in the tooth and claw software which if you go to the color remaster tab you can see that we have intel adaptive sharpening now this sharpening was actually available in the previous tooth and claw however it was not fully working so thanks to the creator called Basim Mohsen he has updated the intel adaptive sharpening to make sure it always works in most games so running final fantasy 7 rebirth as you guys can see at the default zero sharpening it does look a bit blurry unfortunately this is how this game looks because i'm running this game at 720p and at 720p it's not as sharp as you would like it to 1080p is too much for this game which is why i'm running at 720p so with this new update if i open tooth and claw so i'll just go over to the color remaster tab and basically scroll all the way down to, until you see adaptive sharpening but first of all make sure you click on reset to default and then i'm going to increase the sharpening to 100 percent now i'll go back into the game now I can see that the game is now so much sharper. It looks absolutely amazing. It looks like it's running at 1080p. So I hope you guys can see it in the video. Like how much of a difference this actually makes. You know it's a massive difference in terms of sharpness and clarity. So let me go ahead and turn it back off. So now the sharpening has been turned off and as you can see 
it's not as sharp as before so definitely uh, make sure you guys check this out so just you know turn your favorite game on and you know play around with the sharpening and see if it makes any difference in your game in most games I've tested it is working absolutely fine and at 100% wow I mean this is a big difference this is one of the biggest problems I had with the Intel handheld you know such as the Claw 8 because on other handhelds such as the ROG Ally X because it's running AMD on AMD software you get AMD's RIS Radeon image sharpening which works amazingly well in pretty much any game but in the Intel handheld such as the Claw 8 we did not have any image sharpening so for the first time now we have something that actually works so this is really really big news for the Intel handhelds because now we have image sharpening and on games like this which look a bit blurry at 720p now we can make it look as sharp as possible so make sure you guys like subscribe and comment down below and let me know what you guys think of this image sharpening in my next video I will talk about a software called CRU which can increase your VRR range from 48 Hertz at the minimum all the way down to 30 Hertz at the minimum so basically similar to the Lenovo Legion Go 2's VRR which is also at 30 Hertz so make sure you guys subscribe and stay tuned for more amazing videos thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one